in my head that I gotta buy a cheap guitar, strip it out of paint, fill the pickup cavities, make it a single humbucker guitar and paint it in a cool color as this one and I did it and I really should have uploaded each video at a time but instead I was so into the project that I just kept a bulking videos so I have these big massive videos of the whole project and I didn't uh, film each step thoroughly. I did kind of a vlog of each step and kind of checkpoints uh, instead of the whole thing. So we'll go back in time and we'll see each step. Uh, bear in mind, this was a Jackson DKLT guitar uh, with an HSS setup, as I said. I'll talk all about it throughout the videos. So uh, pay attention, I hope you enjoy it. If you're thinking about doing this kind of thing, uh, keep in mind it takes a long time. It took me about 40-45 hours of work to get to this stage. Uh, but it turned out really cool. Still doesn't stay in tune as I'd like it to, but I'll make it happen. Uh, but it, it looks bitching, kind of together me. Alright, so uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see each other more frequently from now on. And please subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing and we'll see each other in the next video. Enjoy. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back. Offer again. Today I want to tell you about this cool project guitar I just purchased. Uh, it's a Jackson DKLT, I believe it's called. And I bought it uh, of a local guy, a real nice guy named Jonathan. Thanks very much for sending me this guitar, man. He's also a viewer of the channel. So once again, thank you very much. Um, I saw this guitar and it really reminded me of my Charvel 475 Deluxe, it looked exactly the same guitar. This one was manufactured in 92 and the only piece of information about this model I could find is that this model was made for one year only and that was for 92. And I knew beforehand that the 475 Deluxe were discontinued at 91 so it kind of made me raise my eyebrow and think hey maybe this might be a Charvel 475 Deluxe with a Jackson logo on it it also had the professional stamp which also made me believe it's a really good guitar so I got it and as you can see I already started taking it apart and cleaning it up and when I took the neck off I don't think you can see this, but I'll also put a picture. It has a 475 stamp on it, so it actually uh, strengthened my thought that this is a 475 Deluxe and the rod in pencil DKLT and 81 or 18 to the left of it, or yeah, kind of, I don't know. So it's very cool, so it makes me think that they made this mall from 475 leftovers and gave it the Jackson logo and professional series to kind of differentiate it from the Charvel series. It's a really great guitar. I also have the uh, Schaller GT, the Schaller JT 590, I think is the name of the model. I also have the Schaller Tremolo. Uh, I love this Tremolo. I love this guitar. This one is actually pretty lightweight, lighter than my 475 Deluxe. It's a base wood body, it's a maple neck and a rosewood fingerboard and of course the shark fin inlays. Pretty funny, I think the 9th fret is not a mother of pearl but just a pearl or however it's called. But anyways, 
I got this guitar for a fair price and my thought was to strip the paint off and modify it. Uh, I always wanted to paint the guitar so I'm going to paint it probably bright red or some cool color. I want to make it a single pickup guitar which I've always wanted. And, and we'll see how it turns out. Probably take a few videos to see the end result but let's hope it will turn out as I wish it will. Stay tuned, thank you so much for checking this video out and I'll see you on the workbench. Alright, so it looks like the first day of peeling the paint off is over. I peeled down most of the paint from the body as you can see. The rest I think I'm going to try and scrape with sanding paper and by hand with a razor blade. Gotta say, the heat gun was a great tool. I'll show you some of the pieces really came out together. You see this? You have some full chunks there. Yeah, pretty happy with it. Look at the stunning piece of base wood his body is. I was really surprised to see what a nice piece of wood this body is made out of. And yeah, first day is over. I'll keep updating you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. Alright, so it's the second day of working on the guitar. Just woke up. We got some of this epoxy. As you can see, I've already. I've already blocked one, uh, one single coil hole, now it's time for the next one. Now I need to rub this shit and I'll put it in. So yeah, I cleaned the hole a little bit, taking the shit out, it's just pretty toxic so you can blow. And I want to rub it like this. One piece. Now, as you can see, they have different colors, and that's because this one is called Propoxy, and this is some Israeli company. Apparently, Propoxy is lacking on the market. So, yeah, let's hope it's just as good. That's one of the old. Afterwards, I want to block the volume knob and the pickup selector all right so as you can see I'm done all the holes are filled very nice now I'm gonna eat a breakfast and start sending Hey guys, well, quick update on the Magenta Super Strut build. Magenta, yeah, that's the color I'm using. Montana Magenta. Well, as you can see, I've already put the primer on, and that's the second coat of primer I put on it. The first one, I kind of fucked it up, I put way too much. And actually, it's 6 in the morning right now. <laughs> So uh, this is the second coat, 
I had to take off most of the first coat because I put way too much primer on it. I rushed it and you know, it didn't get dry properly. But this coat is very nice. I did a very light one this time because I had some left from the first coat and I think it's great. I'm going to scuff it with some water and 400 grit sandpaper. And yeah, as you can see, one pickup. I extended the cutaway a little bit. Sorry I didn't film the whole thing. I got a little lazy and it's actually making it harder for me to work and film and worry about making mistakes while filming and all this shit. So I prefer to just make this vlog with updates. And yeah, this time I didn't get any runs except this little bit, which is nothing compared to what I had last time. I had all over the place, it's this kind of shit. And yeah, I'm super happy with it. I'm going to scuff it and paint it with the magenta. So, I'm turning the camera off, it's time to work. Gotta paint it by 7 in the morning so it have time to dry and do the second coat later today. I think I'll do three coats, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, stay tuned, rock on, I'll keep you updated. Have a great day. Alright, so it's almost 7 a.m. I wet sanded the guitar nicely, it's all nice and smooth, even so, as you can see through the primer, the main point of the primer to my understanding is just making the whole body one unit or a canvas if you will. So that the paint will grip nicely, everything is nice and smooth. Ooh, except here. Yeah, go here a little bit more. Anyways, um, when I sanded the guitar and took off the paint, I realized I can actually carve some of the edges a little smoother and rounder because this kind of dinky body shape digs into your body a little bit. So you see I did this one really nice and smooth. I deepened the cutaway a little bit, made a nicer access for the hand here, and yeah, I think if you're already stripping your guitar of paint and going to pair wood and carve it to your liking, you know? Guitars can get the best attention from a factory so take it into your own, your own hands and yeah, it's almost 7 a.m. let's give this a light touch and paint it to up there. Alright, so the first couple of coats of color were applied. You can see Magenta Baby is coming to laugh. Yeah, and I think I got the technique down. No drips. Very nice. Already got a nice glossy look to it. Yeah. And I'll let it dry for a bit, sand it, do another layer, and maybe that's it. Maybe I'll do another one, we'll see. Stay tuned. So, the color of dried for 24 hours, and I scuffed it up, wet sanded it all around. Looks a bit rough after scuffing, but. We're gonna give it another coat of color. It's gonna be awesome. I love this color, it turned out so cool. And yeah, let's see what another coat of color will do. So, I hope third time's a charm. That the third time I'm spraying the guitar with paint. Which will say spray painting. And the last time, I didn't need an even coat. I didn't have any runs, but I did have some places with more paint and it bothered me. So I sanded the guitar really, really carefully and I guess the most important thing in this process of painting a guitar is being patient and doing each step thoroughly. And as you can see the guitar is really leveled nicely. Gonna spray paint it for the third time. Yeah, let's do it. 
Alright, third, or may I say sixth, coat of paint is on. It turned out pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna keep it this way. And I'm going to spray it with some 2K varnish. 2K clear coat next. And yeah, we're almost done. Fucking A. I'm already, I think, 25. 25 hours into the project. 25 working hours. Straight. No, not straight, but yeah, yeah. 25 working hours into the project. Pretty sick. I love the color. I like how it turned out on this third and final coat. And we'll go from here into the clear varnish in about 40 hours. See you next day. So I just sprayed the clear coat. To be clear coat by Montana as well. And it turned out pretty nicely I think. I'm gonna keep it that way. Mainly because I'm a bit paranoid about the hazardous effects of this kind of spray paint. I might have missed a little at the bottom, but you know, we'll see, we'll let it dry for like 70 hours for how long it needs, and I'll come back to it, but this shit is very unhealthy, as every label and everywhere on the internet says, so be careful with this stuff guys, I wear long clothes all over my body, gloves, I don't have a respirator, but I wore this uh, 3M mask to protect you. And yeah, I'm gonna stay away from this thing for at least most of the day. Alright, we'll see how it turns out, and I'll meet you at the polishing process. Rock on. Good morning, Guitar Freaks! Well, quick update on the Magenta Guitar Project. As you can see, I've layered another coat of clear coat. Uh, I did the first one, it turned out too light, I wasn't happy with it. So I uh, scuffed it up and laid another layer on top of it, another coat, which every coat is three coats actually. Uh, but I've actually tried to do another layer the next day and the can just died on me, so Keep that in mind, if you're painting with 2K polyurethane paint, uh, it's gonna die on you in 24 hours. Sorry for my voice, I kinda woke up an hour ago. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with this coat. It got this nice, nice uh, gloss look to it already. Uh, just a little bit of dust and orange peel in there, but I'm going to buff it really soon. And I'm sure it will turn out awesome. The thing I'm the most happy about in this project is that you can't see any of the routing. I had here two single coils and a switch and another uh, volume knob which I uh, sealed up with epoxy. And I want to share with you the most awesome moment. As you can see I've improvised this, uh, this rope, two ropes that held the guitar and it lasted through the whole project. There's a kind of funny story on this one. When I did the primer, I did it on the rooftop of a working place. I work in uh, part time because I thought it would be a good place to do it. Uh, but I was dumb and I did it late at night. <laughs> and I couldn't uh, cut a metal wire that I was planning to put into the guitar holes. So I found this old rope laying somewhere and I kind of cut pieces of it. and. It fitted and I was pretty much afraid that it would tear up on me overnight but it lasted 3 weeks and I don't know 10 coats, 15 coats of paint including the primer, color and clear coat and yeah it's awesome and now it's time to tear it down so yeah the magic happens let's watch out 1, 2 and let's see if it's willing to go out or it wants to stay forever. Yeah. Very nice. Alright. <laughs> you can see here the masking tape or the primer. 
and here as well but it will be covered with the back plate hopefully maybe it will diminish a little bit with the buffing but we'll see I don't really give a fuck I know that I'll have some uh, imperfections when I started this project and actually it's more perfect than I would have liked it to be so I'm pleased uh, I'm not going to film the buffing process because really I feel more comfortable doing it in my own pace without being filmed and yeah I'll make another video once I'm done and you can see the before and after one less look check out the cutaway I made a real nice one I'll compare it to another dinky body shape that I have it's much nicer yeah that's it let's go on and buff the thing up let's go alright so I've done the 800 grit I'd say that I'm 85 to 90 percent uh, diminished all the orange peel you can see some shiny spots at some point still but yeah I think it's time to move to the 1200 I think it looks pretty good and I'm more scared of burning through the clear coat than I am of having a little bumps in the final product so yeah let's move on to the 1200 and see how we do I think I did for like two and a half hours at least it's a long daunting process but I hope it will look good eventually alright see you in the next video after 1200 looks like 1200 is done very happy with the results I guess I'm about 95% smooth not much shiny spots at all and you know I'm pretty sure there will be some imperfections after the polishing process but still really happy with this time to move on to 1500 and then 2000 so I'll make another video after the 2000 because I'm guessing the 1500 won't make such a big difference stay tuned so I went up to 2000 grid and yeah the shine is starting to come back I'm starting to be a bit paranoid about uh, sending through the clear coat so I've decided to stop and I'm going to try and put on the compound I've got Meguiar's ultimate compound which hopefully will bring this finish back into a nice shining gloss yeah, let's see how it turns out. Overall, pretty happy. Things look good. Let's rock this McGuire's ultimate compound thingy and see how it goes. Alright guys, the moment of truth is here. I've already polished the guitar with McGuire's ultimate compound and the results are astonishing. Check out this amazing gloss. You've seen how it looks like before. Now it's nice and glossy. I'm really happy with the final result. I mean, it's like magic, you know, one moment you have this ugly matte scratched up finish, and the next one you have a beautiful gloss. Holy fucking shit, as my friend Radar here says so. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking amazing. I did like five passes on this thing, and, and I'm super proud of it. And that's it, that's been like 40 hours of work, hard labor, but after you reach to this final moment of polishing this bad boy up, it's all worth it, when you see this nice gloss, you can't ignore the awesomeness. So I hope you enjoyed this long series of videos, I'm sorry I didn't film every little bit of work, but I'm sure it would have bored you at some point and I feel much more comfortable doing work when I'm not filming. That's the finish, I'll do another video once my bare knuckle nail bone pickup will get here and I'll put the guitar together. Please subscribe to the channel if you like my content and leave me a comment. You see pictures, paparazzi, you flying by. Yeah, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Now I'll have time to play guitar and not just 
polish things and take paint off and all this shit, even though it was fun. I miss playing, writing, covering songs and doing what I like to do. Thank you very much guys, stay tuned, I'll see you in the next video, have a good one, bye bye.